What's up guys, my name is Beard, and today I'm gonna share with you five things that I wish I knew before I started beatboxing. Let's go. Number one is muscle memory. The thing that you want to know when you start off is that everything that you do takes time to grow the muscle in order to make the sound. For instance, if I try to do the lip roll on the side that I can't do it on, uh, those muscles aren't trained to do the sound, it will sound like this. It's terrible, and on the other side, it's very easy for me, okay? So it takes time for your muscles to grow in order to make that sound sound good. Tip number two is that you use a microphone as soon as you can. Practice with a microphone if you want to perform or if you want to go to a battle. It's very important that you know how to handle a microphone and practice with it frequently. If you can't do it at home, go to a friend's place, go to a practice room. Make sure that you are able to practice with a microphone because it's so, so important to know how you sound through speakers. I definitely wish that I knew this before I started battling because I did join a battle and I had no battle experience when I started. It was absolutely terrible. I thought I was loud and I wasn't at all on the microphone because my mic technique was so bad. So please practice with microphone. Number three, get on stage. It's very important that if you want to become a very good performer, you go on stage as much as you can. And I hear all the time like, Beard, I'm not good enough. The more reason to actually go on stage. Join national or smaller battles. Just online battles won't cut it. Go to the real thing. And I know right now in this time, it's a little bit difficult, but I think it will clear up this year and make sure you join as much performances as you can. And it can be any performance. When I started off, I was so nervous on stage and it helped me massively to just go on stage all the time. And that helped me massively get some confidence on stage. So I would suggest that you do the same, okay? Get on stage. Number four is join a community or find a beatbox friend. It's very important that you find people that are like-minded and the community is absolutely great. If you don't have anyone living near you, please go to battles and meet people there because the beatbox community is absolutely amazing. And I know because I have literally been to all possible battles, not all possible battles, but most of them. So take it from someone that actually knows the scene. They're absolutely amazing and very friendly people. You might think when you see the beatbox battle that we're very aggressive because we put on a show, but most guys are actually really amazing and friendly people. Number five, basics. First, if you're anything like me, I started doing crazy sounds before I could actually do a timed beat and before I could actually have a loud kick and snare. Those are so much more important than having crazy sounds. You will sound so much better if you have the basics down than if you can just do the special sounds. So basics first is so important, especially when you start off beatboxing. Guys, I really hope this helped. And um, if you have any suggestions for other videos to cover, I really love to know it. And um, next video is on Monday, so see you there. Yeah.